Welcome to today's Sadokan Saturday. So the next technique to move from the 10th Q yellow belt to the 9th Q orange belt in my dojo is the roundhouse kick, mawashi geri. Mawashi means turning. Okay, the mawashi is the belt that sumo wrestlers wear. Literally, they have to turn around to get that belt on. So mawashi, I'm turning my hips. There are two principal versions that I teach, but again, since kicks in Okinawan karate are brought in from outside sources, historically either from French kickboxing, French boxe francaise savate, um, which in, inculcated the uh, Japanese karate and then kind of made its way back to Okinawa, or from the Fukien and Henan, Hunan provinces in China, uh, the Shaolin Temple, they have these kicks as well. Um, Thai boxing has a version of the roundhouse kick, so it's not an unfamiliar kick to most people. It really just involves turning your body and swinging your leg in a large arm. But the version that I teach first is called the short roundhouse, the way I teach it. It's the older one that was first incorporated into Japanese karate before the tournament scene and long range fighting. I call it the short roundhouse because it can be used in close. We start by quarter pivot of the, of the standing leg, hands are on guard. My chamber is with my foot toward my butt and my knee toward the opponent. I counter pull the shoulders as I kick. And this can also be pulling your opponent down and into the kick. So again, one, two, three, and four. From the other side, we lift the leg. One, two, three, and four. We then do that same kick <coughs> moving forward in our Zenkutsudachi at this point. Again, I'll go back to next week I'm going to talk more about footwork and how to incorporate kicks into techniques, fighting, bag work, and so forth. But the formal learning of this kick starts here, Zenkutsudachi, chamber the leg, counter twist and pull, back to your forward stance. Chamber the leg, counter twist, return, and back. Now, we're making impact with the ball of the foot here. And here's why I call it the short roundhouse kick. I can be this close to my opponent, pretty much elbow distance, but if I can lift my knee, I can make that kick land, kidneys, groin, spine, on his torso while we're in close as I pull his head into the technique as well from this range. Okay, we can go higher, depending on what your flexibility allows, but it can be done in short because I'm folding my foot in to hit with the ball of the foot, so I don't have the same extension as I do with the long roundhouse kick coming next. And I'm counter pulling and using my hips to adjust my distance. Second version of the roundhouse kick, also required for orange belt, is the long roundhouse or the tournament sparring roundhouse, where we actually impact with the top of the foot with the toes extended. So we start from Yoi again, hands come to guard, same quarter pivot, same chamber, except now instead of keeping my foot flexed or dorsiflexed, I planter flex, which means point my toes. As I kick here, I pivot on the bottom foot the same as we did with the side thrust kick, only now I'm going forward with it, okay? So we learn this first from Yoi, pivot, kick, back down, same thing other side, pivoting in. The bottom foot has to turn so my heel goes more toward my opponent as opposed to just staying short. And this is again why the short roundhouse kick is shorter because I'm not turning all the way toward it. So pivot toward the kick and back down. Turn, kick, top of the foot, top of the foot. Now this kick, because I'm full pivoting and reaching, my hips are fully extended. I'll do it from this side. My hips are fully extended. My foot is fully turned and my, my kicking foot is fully extended. This allows me to reach a much greater distance from my starting point, as opposed to the short roundhouse in here, it's a long roundhouse I can reach from way back here. Okay, so long roundhouse, full pivot, 
Full hip commitment, body lined up completely toward the target, striking with the foot extended. Short roundhouse, quarter pivot, hips not fully turned, keeping it short, counter rotate. Two roundhouse kicks, mawashigeri. Next week, as I said, we'll look at footwork, bag work to practice the side thrust, roundhouse, and short roundhouse. Thank you for joining another Sedokan Saturday, and as always, until next week, keep practicing.